Ladies and gentlemen, we are on a mission today in Modded Hoi 4. In case you've been living under a rock, the new DLC has just dropped for Hoi 4. That DLC being Trial of Allegiance. Now again, Trial of Allegiance has basically covered and revamped the whole of South America. And although me and Bruno Mars are very compatible with our status of being broke, meaning that I have not played it myself, I have still viewed many a video on it. And there is one reoccurring theme, and that is every South American nation becomes OP, whether it's military in Argentina or industry in Brazil. So that is exactly why today I'm going to be putting to the test Kaiser Redux. That's right, I'm going to test which is better, the new DLC or a good old Kaiserreich mod. And for this test today, we're going to be hopping into the nation of Brazil. In the DLC, Brazil seems to become an industrial powerhouse, and I want to put it to the test to see if we can manage that in Kaiserreich, or do even better. After all, I don't want to see you guys spending money on a DLC you don't need when you can just get it through mods. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get into it. Now for this run, my main focus in make is making sure Brazil is a powerhouse industrially, which means when it comes down to personal expansion, I'm only going to expand within South America and take territory. If I want to get involved in international warfare, I can, but I'm not allowed to take anything in the peace deal. Starting off, we get a decent amount of military factories, as you can see, and I'm just, I'm having a big today I learnt moment, because um, when, when when did Brazil start having Focke-Wolf Brazil as a manufacturer? When did the Germans start up, a, start up a GoFundMe in Brazil? So unlike the DLC, with the Kaiserreich mod, you have to wait before you can do any of your focuses, really. A lot of it is locked behind a political decision that you've had to wait until the first election for, um, and then I imagine all this stuff underneath unlocks as well. But we have a choice. We, we have a choice now i can either go with the republicans i can go with the, the the democrats which ends up becoming like communist stuff uh we can go liberal or we can go liberal democrat and i've looked at all the options and it seems like for factories growth you know bonuses the Republican government seems to give me the best bonuses of them all. However, saying all that, I've just noticed another option, right? So it says here we've got the Integrists, or National Populists, which is none of these options here. I've got these guys who are the Social Conservatives over here. I have these guys who are the Radicals or the Liberals, and then these guys who are the Social Democrats, right? So all of these, okay? Now, these guys are the 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 demonicus i think because i remember a pop-up saying oh plenio salgado oh that's definitely going to be the king which opens up this the regency the monarchist and i feel like these guys have some really good buffs and would just make Brazil super OP. You know what? I want to see how OP I can get. I'm going for those. Plinio Salgado and the Acal Integralista Brasileira. Let's go. And it is finally time. Plinio Salgado takes office. Viva or Brasil. Uh, we're going to go ahead. The Regency has done. And I think this now takes us down our beloved monarchist pass with all of those. Oh, look at the bonuses. Look at the bonuses. Look at the bonuses. There's so much green. There's so much green. You know, actually, the more that I look at this guy, Plinio Salgado, right? Just look at his face for a minute. He reminds me of, he reminds me of that actor. What's his name? I can't remember his name. Oh my God. It's the actor with the nose. And he's like, oh, hold on. I need to find his name. That was it. It was the Italian actor from uh, Roberto. What was it? Roberto Be Benini. The, the, the dude from Life is Beautiful. It's like a mixture of him. And then he mixed with the other actor from that film. I think it was the one with Liam Neeson in. What was it called? That was it. It was called the, uh, it was called the pianist. It's the dude who was also in the film, the, the TV show, uh, not Breaking Bad. Oh my God. The one in Birmingham. Peaky Blinders. That was it. Adrian Brody's his name. Him. It's a mixture of him and then Benini. I don't know what it is. That's what I see. Am I, am I the only one? <laughs> You know, I've got to be honest, like some of these bonuses, although they're very simplistic, they are really nice. Like, for example, plus 5%, 200 political power, revoke war, a uh, wake of war, and then gives me more political power. Again, stability. What have we got over here? Oh, never mind. It's just 20% stability. Oh, and 50% plus monthly on the population. And then over here, what have I got? Oh, yeah, never mind. You can just have 1.5% recruitable population on top of your already you know, laws that you've got in place. That's crazy. The population and the stability and the political power, I cannot wait. Although there is one thing missing. One thing that actually makes the DLC a lot better, 
um, is the fact of by now, although it's 1937, Brazil would be well on their way to getting some good amounts of civvy factories, right? However, in the Kaiserreich mod, um, it's not really factory based for Brazil. It seems like I'm getting like one factory here. You know, I'm getting some infrastructure. Where is it? I'm getting infrastructure here. Um, if I go down my military path, I can obviously get some military factories and stuff, but I'm not really getting much in the way of factories, especially Civi. Whereas on the DLC, Brazil is an absolute factory monster. Oh yeah, by the way, Argentina, they're kind of dying right now. <laughs> so I'm going to go about my business, complete this tree, and maybe I can get lucky to try and get some, some more bonuses. I mean, we now have the king, or the emperor, Pedro III, who gives me war support, division attack, and defense plus 10% on core territory, and the the stability which is quite nice so without further ado i'm gonna disappear for a bit and see if i can't finally turn brazil around because this is going a little bit too slow for my liking and it's finally some time for some expansion we are now in the year 39 and as you can see Brazil isn't necessarily the powerhouse they are in the DLC when it comes down to industry, but we do have a lot of military buffs. We have national militias, which gives org buff. We have forager squads, which gives attrition supply. We have fatherland volunteers, which gives recovery rate and population, which I love. We've got dragoons, which gives cav, uh, and then we obviously have pop political power, stability, and pop. Now, with that all being said, there's one fun thing about Brazil that I've noticed that is not necessarily said for the rest of the Kaiser Redux stuff, um, and that's this. I can go ahead and justify a war goal. Whenever I've played Kaiser Reich or Kaiser, Kaiser Redux, it's always been, you cannot justify, it's locked behind a tree. Well, surprise, I can. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and do our first bits of expansion. I have military buffs, my armies are looking fresh, and uh, Argentina needs to be sorted out. Liberate Patagonia from the Socialist Republic of Argentina. And you know what? I like that. Nice. <laughs> Let's put it to work. We're going to go ahead, set our invasion, and uh, it's looking green. It's looking good. I like it. Me likey. <laughs> okay, well, as you can see, my, my, my situation is basically a stalemate. I can't push into Argentina, and uh, although I have all those buffs, it's not really a effective. However, I'm not going to write it off just yet and I'm not going to say that they are useless and they're not as strong as the DLC. And the reason why I would say that is because at the end of the day, they're not really at supplied all well um, and not to mention I only have 15% of my logistic needs fulfilled. So I'm going to do a few focuses, try and get myself up there into the factory levels of things uh, and then once I have a supply, then we'll see and check it out. Maybe maybe I just need a little bit more supply and to get the, to get the, the oil and the gears rolling. Okay, so this is make or break. I'm not entirely sure what's going to happen here, but I have a choice thanks to my focus. I can I can basically get the Portuguese to uh, be united with me. Now, I'm looking at the Portuguese, and they are currently at war with France and Britain. And this conflict would bring me into war with Colombia and Venezuela, right? And Paraguay, which I cannot afford right now. Now, I can unite the two, and they will be basically mine. However, I am I'm a little... <laughs> I'm a little bit scared, okay? And I'm scared because I, if I accept this and I annex them, I get factories, I get divisions, that's amazing. But I think I also inherit their wars, which I'm not entirely down for. Now, if I puppet them, it goes without saying, I'll get dragged into their whole conflict. Um, and then this is just like a whole guaranteed thing, which I'm not really interested in. I haven't really got much of an option here. I'm gonna go ahead, annex it, and just hope for the best. Please, please, please don't hurt me. Oh yeah, <laughs> life is good. Yep, no, nope, I didn't get dragged into their, war their wars. Everything's good, everything's golden. Everything is hunky-dory and I have 45 more divisions. Oh yeah. <laughs> and now that I have those factories, I've put them to good use. And as you can see, we are now in a position where I can have Cass, the thing that I have been needing for so, so long, as well as aircraft as well. Fighters, fighters are kind of needed right now because I'm uh, missing about 81 of them. As you can see, we're starting to lose a bit of territory now and I have worked out why. Argentina's army buffs are far superior to Brazil's because like, I've got, where is it? Recruitable pop, supply consumption, recovery rate, org, attack, core, this, that, and the other. We've got mobilization, out of combat supply, you know. These buffs are just very, very good, and I am struggling to <laughs> I'm struggling to battle them. I do have some naval units on the way. Hopefully I can get a naval invasion and deter them from here, um, of which I can then maybe turn things around. Okay, so the naval invasion is underway. The RGs have stopped pushing just for now. I'm hoping this naval invasion can turn things around. I have two landing points, one right here and one in Mar del Plata. Hopefully that should be fine. As long as I can get the port, 
everything's gravy. Please, please, please turn it around. Okay, we have a landing. It's not with the port, which makes things slightly problematic. I'm going to chuck a port there and see if I can't get lucky enough to hold it. I just, I, oh my god. I, I don't know what I'm doing here. I don't know what I'm doing and I'm a little bit of a mess. I'm about to lose the divisions. They're about to die. This whole thing's falling apart. The Argentinians are too strong. This is... <laughs> My divisions are too weak. That's that's the that's the long and short of it. My my divisions are just too powerless, too weak. A bit off more than I can chew. I've I've got myself in a little bit of a situation. And after God knows how long, I have finally, finally, finally secured a bit of territory in the south. My marines did their work and my navy assisted. I now have an army in the south and I'm going to immediately put them to work. And to also stop them from being halted, I'm going to make these guys go on the attack until there is nothing left in them to stop them from coming down. Hopefully this can turn things around. Hopefully this can get us the, the dub and the support we need. I can only hope. <sighs> it's finally happened. After God knows how many years of in-game time and a bunch of grinding the rgs have finally fallen you know normally at this point i would say oh yeah no it's totally fine i'll just puppet them no they suffered they they made me suffer so i'm taking everything i won't hit no for an answer <laughs> Now that we've taken Argentina, things are looking good. However, do remember we are in a mod called Kaiser Redux, which means that we now have to deal with the whole A, demobilize, and uh, B, what are we going to do with our territory event? And if we decide to keep it, stability, everything just drops. It, it collapses. However, right? However. We still need to expand somewhat. Now, some of them are stuck behind issues like being in a faction that kind of causes a big ruckus. Um, but other times as well... I do have my focus tree of which I'm going to open up down here. And there's things like, oh, Cis Platina or the burden we bear. And for some reason, I'm rescuing Nigerians. I don't know what that's got to do with Brazil or Portugal or whatever, but apparently I'm rescuing the Nigerians. Burdened with the whole, you know, Kaiserite, Kaiser Redux thing, I've decided to leave Patagonia and Argentina and liberate them by having them as puppets. Now, this is fine. You know, I'll, I'll eventually just start building in their territory and then annex them that way. That seems to be the safest way to go about it. Now, needing to expand just a little bit more, I figured it'd be good to go after Peru, Bolivia, get Ecuador as as well try and squeeze colombia and venezuela into a peace deal too and then after that i'm gonna try and wrap it up all as puppets and then slowly annex them from what i've seen of the dlc argentina is the very expansive one where you can just get cores on all of the territory so you don't need to be about puppeting them um so i'm gonna try my luck with that but with puppeting and annexing that way i'm also fairly tempted to go after spain as well because they're not really part of any faction and they're still technically in their civil war now's like the perfect time to go for them you know i've got to be honest i'm slowly but surely coming to coming to my final thoughts on the difference between dlc and mod um especially with how grueling this conflict has been like, i do have a lot of air support um obviously i am fighting in jungle but i've got like bonuses where is it no not nigerian trade what's the one i'm looking for here it goes look jungle jungle warfare it gives me a bonus of of 10 attack defense movement and such and it it'll, still isn't doing all that much i'm gonna be honest so and it has been so grueling like 300k i've lost in this and i should be dominating with all the air support and everything as well so i think it's safe to say i am very easily coming to my final <laughs> final final verdict okay and after so long so long spend it's it's finally done okay i'm gonna go ahead annex both of these guys i'll turn them into puppets after when i get the decision to liberate them quote unquote <laughs> and uh leave it there now i am I, I feel like i'm in a place now i'm 1945 i've played the mod i've watched a lot of content on the dlc i feel like i'm in a great place right now to give my final verdict and how i think what which is better mod or dlc and uh before i go ahead and do that i'm just gonna disappear off camera very very quickly just so that i can you know clean up colombia clean up venezuela take out spain uh, and then finish off Paraguay by taking France and the UK as well. Uh, and then at that point, everything looks nice and pretty for a thumbnail. <laughs> okay, hello everyone. And finally, after wrapping things up, I have come to my conclusion. Number one, you cannot annex your puppet. So me leaving it like that was completely po uh, pointless. <laughs> it, just, it, didn't, it didn't make any sense to do so. I couldn't annex my puppets. There was just Brazil. My final thoughts on this experiment. I, experiment? Can you call it an experiment? Maybe it's experiment my final thoughts are that although the kaiserite mod is great it adds loads of flavor it doesn't do what the dlc will do so if you are someone from south america or someone infatuated by the south american reason and just want some good content for south america i would probably say you're better off getting the dlc 
because the DLC turns them into overpowered monsters. Um, however, I'm sure there will be mods that can do it. Kaiser Reich or Kaiser Redux even, you know, it, it, it wasn't necessarily the mod for me. I am looking at this as an average player. I'm not an amazing player. I'm not a terrible player. I'm somewhere in the middle. So if this is your kind of cup of tea and that's what you're looking for, then great overpowered mods or overpowered DLC, it will definitely be worth the DLC. As someone who doesn't really care about the region, I myself am just satisfied with mods. I don't see the need to go out and get the DLC for it. And you know, I'm kind of broke. So, <laughs> but with that being the case, thank you very much for watching guys. If you have enjoyed, don't forget to of course, click the like button and or subscribe. Share me with friends that grow for the channel, all that fun stuff. And I will see you in the next episode. All the best, have a good one and laters. See ya.